Hi, welcome to Kitchen Revelations. Today I have not come up with a recipe. Instead, I am here to clear some doubts or some common mistakes we do while baking. The first and most important step is measuring. Use a weighing scale or measuring spoon or cup to weigh in grams. Baking is a science. If you do not measure the ingredients properly, you will likely not get the desired result. Next common problem that everyone faces is a sunken cake. There are three main reasons for this. First, if you put too much baking powder or soda, it causes the cake to rise too quickly. The gas builds up and escapes before the cake bakes through the center, making it to collapse and sink in the middle. Now, the second problem is of course your impatience. Opening the oven door very frequently. Opening the oven lets hot air flow out and cold air inside. This sudden decrease in temperature makes a cake to sink in the middle. The third problem is overbeating or overmixing the batter. Use cut and fold method while mixing the cake batter. Also ensure that you finish the mixing part between 2 to 6 minutes otherwise it will lead to overmixing or overbeating. Now the next mistake is a dry cake. If the temperature setting is high there are chances that the cake will bake and become dry. At times it results in a powdered and crumpled texture. Also if you are using a pressure cooker or any other utensil for cooking Please maintain low to medium temperature throughout. Again, if the dry ingredients used are too much and the wet ingredients like egg, milk etc are less, it will result in a dry cake. Now the next mistake is an undercooked cake. Now as explained earlier, this can also happen when you open the oven door very frequently. Now there is a trick to save your undercooked cake. Decrease the oven temperature by 20 to 25 degrees Celsius. Cover the top portion of your cake with a foil and continue to cook for a few minutes until a toothpick through the middle comes out clean. The next problem is a flat cake. There are two mistakes or two reasons why your cake goes flat like a pancake and does not rise like a sponge cake. The first one is over mixing. Do not whisk for a longer period of time. As explained earlier, use cut and fold method. The second reason is usage of baking powder and soda. If you are using too much baking powder or soda or expired ones, it will result in a flat cake. The next problem that we face is a cracked cake. This happens when your temperature setting is really high. If the oven is too hot, the outer portion of the cake cooks much faster than the inside part. Top portion cooks quickly and at the same time inside of the cake continues to cook and this results in a cracked crust. So it is always important to check the temperature settings before baking. The next problem that we have seen while baking is a sticky top portion. This is caused by covering or wrapping the cake before it's completely cooled. This traps the moisture inside causing sticky texture. To avoid this, allow the cake to sit on a wire rack until it cools down completely. You can also sprinkle some powdered sugar on top of the cake to help absorb some of the moisture if top is sticky. Hope I have been able to cover all your doubts related to baking. If you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon next to it for regular updates. If you have any more doubts related to cooking or baking, please ask them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching Kitchen Revelations.